seven years stuff has been sitting there, and things tend to happen. Things go wrong. But yet we put a brand new world thinking that's going to fix everything. So no matter what brand you put in, if that boiler had a problem originally, well, guess what? The new boiler is going to have that same problem. Let's just take care of the existing problems or issues. And we'll just sit through that a little bit as we go. In the meantime, let's just run a little bit, start to see. And one of the first things we want to talk about with the boiler is cleaning the boiler. How so important it is to make sure the boiler gets cleaned correctly. Think of yourself, you're out changing a boiler, maybe it's a residential or maybe it's a commercial, whatever it is. If you're in a home, install a new steam boiler, it's 7 o'clock at night, it's 20 degrees outside, the kids are all cold up there, the mother and father are arguing, they're having problems there, and your main job is to get this thing on the same day. You're there working on this boiler, and the last thing, you're going to want to do is try to get this thing turned on. When you're finishing up, you've got all the piping done, you got the burner on, the fan is fuel to it, everything's purged, it's ready to go. What's the next thing you're going to do with this boiler? Well, you can turn it on and fire it up. You get a heat because you open up and you get the house is closing. So that's the worst thing you could probably do. Because what you're going to do is when you fire this boiler up, after you pipe and thread the pipe, so by the way, when you thread the pipe, what do you do to the pipe? You're threading the pipe on there. What do you do? You can open the door. Now, when you're done with that pipe, do you punch it through? Clean it? Do you get all that oil off the pipe? No. You just put it on the pipe. So you've got oil and everything else dripping inside the boiler. You've got manufacturing oil that are inside the boiler. And that's what you see here right now, is a little bit of vegetable oil that I put inside this boiler. And what you're seeing is really a, a dirty boiler somewhat. Now normally, the head of line here is going to keep the water in the boiler. We want to keep our velocity down. And that's the uh, turbulence inside here, as you see, the steam chest is virtually not there anymore. So the steam chest being shrunk increases velocity. It's going to carry the content up into the pipes. Now as things become more and more violent, you get more and more velocity carried the pipe. Well, even though you might have sized the headers correctly, sized the risers correctly, you're now going to be dumping out fresh steam. You want dry steam to run the system. When you start slugging this stuff out of your system, and remember guys, you can't see this. This is what's happening. Your brand new oil you put in there at 7 o'clock at night, you put the switch, and all this crud is being injected out into your radiator. And you wonder why the vents are spitting, the radiators are hammering, or how to issue the problems that way. Because of all this stuff being dumped out. Look at that. That's not good for your system. That's going to create all kinds of headaches, Hammering problems out of the system, that's not good. This header should have enough lower velocity when you're not diving all this stuff out. So as the system pressurizes a little bit, things calm down a bit, and things kind of get back in the way they're going to go. But again, at 7 o'clock at night, if you don't skim, you don't clean this boiler the way it should be. You're dumping all that stuff out. That's okay, we'll come back tomorrow and do it. Okay. You come back tomorrow, you do your due diligence. You clean the boiler, you skin, you spend four hours cleaning the boiler. Then what's coming back to you the next couple of weeks? All that stuff you just spit out into the system, you've all been come back to the boiler, and guess what? You're coming back to the boiler skimming again. Who's paying for that? And you might even have to come back again. Now also remember, you have a system that might be 60, 70, 80 years old. Was this the first boiler? Maybe. Maybe it was the second or the third boiler that's out there. You think the guy before you clean the system or clean that? So you have all those stuff out in the system. And you put a brand new boiler in, someone's got the five. You have five yet? Yeah. Okay. You cut that story off. I'm not sure what happened. 
put in a monthly application when we don't put in a proper slow opening valve. Four or five pounds of pressure, it's a lot of energy. Five pounds is too much to handle. And even as it's slow opening, not slow cut, I have quite a few shows in my mouth. Now, 